but I think worse than unhealthy conflict is avoiding conflict at all. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like there's this dynamic that has been, you know, we have been socialized to say, to believe and leaders more often not believe it, that as leaders, they know the best way they, you know, and we're not supposed to challenge that. We're not supposed to speak against that. We're not supposed to um, say anything different than what they have decided. Um, that is because of a lack of psychological safety, right? We are not mm-hmm. supposed to do those things. Um, I do them. <laughs> I do them often. It creates a lot of problems for me. Um, but I continue to do it because I feel like nothing's going to change if we don't, right? Um, yeah, so that's just conflict in general. Like, um, But if you want to talk specifically about unhealthy conflict, I'm going to let you jump into the question before I ramble about. <laughs> yeah, your, <laughs> your rambles are great. And the when when we talk about unhealthy conflict, we're all, we include artificial harmony in that, which is what I hear yeah. you saying when you say people avoiding yeah. conflict. It's that surface level, you know, everybody's in the meeting and they're nodding their heads and smiling at whatever the leader's mm-hmm. saying. And then you leave that meeting and you're like, well, that was stupid or that was like ridiculous or <laughs> like the truth comes out in the time. You know, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's time. Um, so that unhealthy conflict is like unproductive conflict. So it can be loud and visible. And, you know, we see some, sometimes email wars back and forth or, you know, BCCing people in or like all those behaviors that make conflict kind of yeah. unhealthy. And we see just a lack of conflict doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It means it's popping out in other ways in the system um, that, that aren't helpful. Um, so with that, you know, we talk about productive conflict being that type of conflict that it's visible. Everybody can see it. We have the same language for it. Back to that idea of shared language. Like we're, mm-hmm. we're all talking about the same problem. Right? I don't think that you're the problem. You don't think I'm the problem. We see the problem as being somewhere in the relationship or somewhere between us. And we have the skill and, and we use it as an opportunity to you know, work together, to communicate better or to be innovative and try new things or whatever it might look like, but to move conflict into being more functional for the team or the organization so it doesn't get stuck.